a senior fisheries biologist on aquaculture and inland fisheries at Kamchonga Inland Fisheries Institute says the survey, which is conducted twice a year, also seeks to determine fish catches in the Kavango River. Dion Tieho further indicates that the ministry is comparing the catches over a certain period of time to determine whether there is an increase or decline in fish stock. Preliminary findings indicate that tiger fish are the only species which are found in abundance, while some fish species are non-existent. So what we do, we, we go out and then we set the nets in the evening at 6 and then we retrieve them again at 6 in the morning. So we have calculated effort, which is 12 hours. So when we go out there, we retrieve the nets, we bring in the lab, like we're doing now, and then we come and weigh the fish, take the length, and then uh, we enter the data. From there, then we do the analysis, we analyze the data to see what's the most uh, important species that is caught from the river and the catch per unit effort, how much, we are, how much can we catch in a certain period of time. He maintains that the biological surveys are key as they protect the inland fisheries resources. We have a mandate as a ministry to sustainably manage the living aquatic resources, which is the fish resources on, on the river. And this fish mainly is utilized by, for the benefit of the people, and uh, which uh, the people depend on, 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 on this fish. So we need to sustainably manage it to ensure that the future generation also benefits from this resource. The scientists have evaluated the presence of mercury and DTT levels in the Kavango River, as well as analyzed nutritional values of small indigenous fish species for marginalized communities in Namibia.